that's not my husband then. <laughs> yeah, no. That's that not, doesn't make but, any but, sense. So, okay, what, that's not your husband. But then what if the guy turns around and says, well, you post revealing photos on Instagram. You're not wifey material. That's fine. It's not, oh, you're fine with that's that? That's not my soulmate. So your soulmate has to accept you going to raves and parties and bars and clubs and posting revealing photos Well, if on the they stream. go with me. What if they don't? Well, then we probably wouldn't be together. Or I would just, I mean, I like to stay at home if I don't go to a festival, so. They yeah. have See, to this have is a cyclical, cyclical thing. You said before that you have high standards, right? Yeah. So high standards would suggest that you're looking for a pretty capable guy, good looking, he's probably tall, and these sorts of guys have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. And they just won't put up with this. So it's this cyclical thing that, that girls enter into and they say, uh, I need this, 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 and this, and I've got this laundry list of things that I need, but I'm not willing to take these photos down. I'm not willing to compromise with you at all. And then the guys that you will attract, if you do those things, you won't respect. I'd be willing to compromise if they were the right person for me. He just said that, and you said that you wouldn't take the photos down and you wouldn't stop. I didn't stop. say that. Isn't that just what happened? Did I hear wrong? You, I'm, you said that we would... About going out. You said your soulmate going would, out. would... I think she would take the photos down. Is that what you're saying? I said I would make a compromise. Like What's I don't the compromise? Think, well, it would depend on the photos. Here's the compromise. Like, okay, there's a difference. You're, here's the compromise. Here's Okay, role play here. Hi, I'm your boyfriend. It's good to meet you. Um, <laughs> okay, you need to make your Instagram private, and you got to take all, all, this, all this shit down. No, all you can archive. It? Maybe archive. Okay. No, that, no. There's a compromise. You can archive. No, archive it. suggests that we're going to break up. That's a fair <laughs> point. You know what? You're allowed to have a MySpace account. But I have to What's choose your top. Space? I have to choose your top friends Sorry. and your favorite song. You don't know what MySpace is. It wasn't that like. That's a bit before your time, yeah, right? Gen Gen Z. Yeah. Damn, you know what's crazy? What? Gen Z thinks that, like, like looks at MySpace the same way that we look at like a rotary phone. That's crazy. Was MySpace like pre Facebook? My like pre Facebook or was that? Before? Yeah, that was. It was, it was I, like remember, a year, I remember year the, or two. the exact time when 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 Facebook started to take over MySpace, and I was like, but I can't have top friends in. Facebook. Massive you know? bummer. Anyways. Anyways. Um, damn. We're, we're boomers over MySpace here. was the best. Anyways. W MySpace. We're old. W MySpace. <laughs> I wonder if anybody like got, you know how like people use Instagram as a dating app? Like mm. they get it in on Instagram sending DMs. I wonder if like some dude was fucking killing it on MySpace. <laughs> yeah, dude. For Probably. sure. I had, a, I had a friend who was in a few different girls' top friends. like, And I was like, player. <laughs> top friends. He's killing <laughs> He's out here. <laughs> and that's when you could like ha you, your whole profile could be like customized, yeah. like HTML. You had a song. Remember the that song? Yeah, that's yeah, it. that was the best. The MySpace profile days. songs. I used to do some simpy songs when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, that I wish bad. I could say I was killing it on MySpace, but I was I was like high school. No, so man. Not killing it on MySpace. So how do you guys pick up girls? What's your what do you Main, guys do? Mainly MySpace. Oh yeah, MySpace. <laughs> uh, What's your game? Grindr. I go, I go on Grinder. Okay. Apparently, like that's we had a girl. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but we had a girl the uh, like last week who uh, she met a guy on Grinder. What? <laughs> Remember? Or were you I weren't here. here? Oh, you weren't here. It is a gay dating oh. app, but sounds like one. They're in. So anyways, he but wasn't I'm just gay? Yeah. disregard the Grinder comment. Uh, I'm not on dating apps, so. I just I let girls slide into the DMs back yeah. in the day. Oh, so you just like to be hit on. Purely cold approach. Yeah, it's I'm in my I'm in my sassy man era. <laughs> sassy man era. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Yeah. The, the girls have to do all the work. Oh. Yeah, I can't stand the dating apps. It's mainly just cold approach. Just on the streets. At Trader Joe's. Oh, on the streets. Cafe. So you are on the streets. I'm uh, cold approaching, though, in a gentlemanly way. But uh, li libraries, cafes, these sorts of places. Mm. Uh, what, what were we talking about? Do we have any pushback from... Uh, any more pushback from anybody on the whole controlling thing? I don't know. Oh, I was going to ask. Uh, do you think you'd... Question for you, because you mentioned controlling. Mm -hmm. uh, would you... Your longest relationship was six years, you said? Yeah. Uh, let's just, like, future boyfriend or whatever, would you have an issue if he was paying for another girl's OnlyFans? <clears throat> That's a good question. I never thought about that. I don't think I mind, no. You wouldn't mind? No. Like, as long as I like, don't meet up. He was, like, messaging? No, he's just, like, chatting with yeah, her. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, you Really? Yeah. Okay, but well, you asked the wrong person. Like, I'm super open about that kind of stuff. Do you, so. Are you poly? No. Are, do you have open relationships? No. Have you ever... 
had an open relationship? The past, yeah. How open was the open relationship? As open as it can get, I guess. Uh, who were you monogamous first? Like, did it start monogamous, then you opened it up, yeah. or was it always open? Yeah. You're the one who opened it up? No, together. Wait, you, yeah. mutual? Someone, someone's yeah. going to come. Uh, like one and a half years, so I, I, uh. really, I don't really count so it. While you were seeing him, how many other guys did you see? I don't know. I don't take count of that. Like 10, 20? I don't know. Maybe, maybe 10. Okay. How many girls did he see? Um, like, would you guys well, be, talk about it, kind of? No, no, we wouldn't really talk about it. Um, but I did know uh, two girls that he was with. Mm -hmm. um, so I do know of two. But I think mm -hmm. it's more probably around five. So you, so you put in more work than he did? More work? More work. I guess that's an American saying. Um, you, you got with more guys than he got with girls. Yeah. So let's just say it would be like five and ten. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but so going back to the question, would you be okay with your boyfriend subscribing to Girls Only Fans while we open up to the panel? What do you think? Um, no. Not okay with it. No. But he's just being himself. <laughs> your words. I would not date someone that does that. Those were those were your words though. You're like, well, when it comes to going to bars, clubs, parties, whatever. Well, yeah, posting, but I wouldn't date. You got to be yourself. Being yourself. Subscribe to someone else. Subscribe to. Well, you don't have no app, right? No. Yeah. Um, what What would be wrong though? That's very controlling and insecure of you. No, I'm not going to change him. I'm just not going to date someone that is subscribed to someone else's channel. But. But you should let him be himself. Yeah, Why are you he controlling? Can, but not my boy. Okay, so let's say you are dating a guy and he wasn't doing that, but then you found out he was doing that a year into the relationship. You break up with him? Amazing. Or do you say, stop that, or I'm going to break up with you? It would depend on the on situation, what? how much I really like him. You like him <laughs> as much as you anticipate liking. Like, would I marry him? He's the best looking guy you've ever No, met. let's not be. <laughs> I feel like it's just got to be personality person. Look, it's it's the guy that you're going to end up with. Doesn't so, sound like it. Well, so it's here's the thing. When I say it's the guy you're going to end up with, a lot of girls are not going to get the perfect man. You're not going to get the perfect guy. You're going to have to settle on certain things. Or maybe it will. Okay, well, maybe if that's else another. Is perfect about him then no, I No, he, he's not perfect. Oh, then no. <laughs> he's your equivalent. <laughs> So all the deficiencies that you have or that you bring to a relationship, <laughs> I, by the way, I'm not saying there are any, but uh, he, is, he is mirroring in some way the deficiencies in which you're bringing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm not subscribed to OnlyFans, so he is? No, I think, uh, <laughs> how do I just put this simply? Look, uh, let me ask you this. Um, or, well, you said you're very picky and you have high standards, right? We should get into that. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you tell us about the kind of guy that you want? Okay, well... So let's start looks. Okay. So how tall are you? 5'10". Okay, 5'10", so you're uh, pretty high up there? Yeah, and I like to wear heels, too, so... Okay, so uh, bare minimum height for a guy uh, for you to date. Probably 6'2 or 6'3". Okay, so you've already so reduced... that's already like a really small percent of yeah. the population. Yeah, so 6'3", that's 1%, I believe. of yeah. or wait, Is it 3%, 1%? Uh, Jake, do you know the percentage on this? I'm not sure. I know that uh, I think 6 foot and above is 15%. I think 5'8 is the average. So. Yeah, I'm definitely taller than the average man. Yeah, so. you are. Or, well, I think the average is 5'9 or 5'10 in the U.S. anyways, but... Yeah. In Holland, it's a bit... So that's why I have higher the ones, standards. Higher, but, uh, so minimum 6263. Yeah. Okay, so that's already 1% of men, I believe. Um, maybe 62 is like 3% of men. Can somebody... Can you find the statistics, Austin? Uh, what about other physical traits? So uh, will you date any race? Yeah, I'm okay. open. Uh, can, will you date a obese guy? No, because that just shows that they don't take care of their, mm -hmm. themselves and... Sure. And then uh, age? What's the age range that you'll date? Um, I'm 27, so probably like 29 to 42. <laughs> okay, that's pretty pretty reasonable. Uh, that's a wide range. Uh, 
Look, we should do the calculator too. Austin, can you pull up the oh my calculator? Gosh, it's probably so low. <laughs> um, have you done this before? No, but my friends always tell me that my dating pool is like 1%. Mm. <laughs> Brian, do you want to know the average Yeah, what? Well, what's the percentage of men over 6'3? What's the height? Per Maybe the chat, the chat probably knows. What's the height percentile? Okay, so uh, three percent, so four percent six two, three percent six three, one percent over six four. Oh, okay, I was close oh, enough. Oh, okay, I have a four percent. So four percent over six two. Um, okay. All right. Th good. How much That's is promising. six two in centimeters? About one hundred ninety um, or so. Okay. One hundred ninety-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's also pull up the calculator. We should. Oh, it should be one of the tabs. If you look at one of the tabs up there, it's calculator. All right, we're gonna go through the calculator by the way guys like the video all right so uh age i think you said 29 to 43 oh 43 okay yeah. uh race any exclude married i'm assuming oh yeah definitely not married yeah. <laughs> minimum height you said let's do six two or six three six three. Oh, okay <laughs> exclude obese yes and then minimum income a uh, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Well, you make way more as a nurse. Huh? Wait. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Uh, scroll down. Ideal man. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero point <Wow>. eleven. <laughs> that's really bad. Percent. Delusion score four out of Delusion. five. Why isn't it five out of five? That should be. It should be more. Oh my yeah. gosh. So what do I need to like settle on? Perhaps right? perhaps height <laughs> height would be a good one. Okay, uh, I can go down like an inch. <laughs> but guys already lie about their height. She can go down an inch. <laughs> wait, guys lie about their height? Yeah. Uh, wait, we Especially can on dating that. apps. Is, do you think that's wrong? To lie? About your height? Yeah, it'd be like us lying about our bra size. Mm, mm. But worse. It's worse. No, yeah, but there's not. Girls always photo tune their, their stuff. Mm -hmm. They always look very different in, in, in real life than they do in their photos. Maybe like they're good at these days. The AI is. That's fair. How do makeup. you lie about makeup. your height? Well, like on dating apps. Oh, fair point. Okay. And then I'll stand up next and be like, "Oh no, no." But if someone is super nice, then it doesn't matter yeah, no. that they're smaller than you, right? I've dated shorter people. But you didn't <laughs> have a good experience. One day. Wait, what uh, is shorter? Like five eleven? Uh, is like that what my you mean height. by shorter people? No. Oh, okay. My first boyfriend was 5'10". We were the same height. But I look taller. Because of the girl. heels. Yeah. Well, no. I, would, I wouldn't wear heels back then. Right. Okay. Um, what, what were we going around on initially, though? Because, I mean, we can get into all this stuff. Oh, having high standards. No, before that, we were... I'm trying to remember. What were, do you recall what we were going around on, Maddie? What? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Give me the stink eye, Maddie. Okay. Oh, um, girls should uh, delete their Instagram, I or think. boys can keep oh, their dating profile. Oh, if you want, if your boyfriend sub to only oh, fans. Oh, thank you, Maddie. Like yes. That. Okay. Uh, deal breaker is it is it an issue if your boyfriend is subscribed to oh. girls only fans, or here's the other one, he goes to the strip club. <laughs> is this a would you rather or? No, no, no. Oh. not a would you rather. It's oh. just like two scenarios. <laughs> okay. So what about the strip club? Would would you have an issue if your boyfriend went to the strip club? Is it a bachelor party? No, he just goes once a week. Just oh for... no. <laughs> so but week? he goes for the okay, food. Okay, how about he goes for the food? Okay, well we can order DoorDash no, no, and no. get a stripper pool in our house, and throw... he can throw money at me. <laughs> I suppose that's not that often. But... <laughs> The Bronasons donated two hundred dollars. Oh damn! There's no way an A cup is demanding Shit, something bro. or having unrealistic standards. Damn, you're bro. an A cup. Savage. You're basically a man, and you should be shipped to hey. Thailand immediately. Hey, yeah, uh, <laughs> Bronasons. First off, good to see you in the okay. chat. But first off, damn. I will not, as someone who's part of the itty bitty titty committee, I will not allow you to disrespect a sister. Okay? How fucking dare you? First off, I got to come to the defense of small boobs, okay? Jake, are you a small boob? I can't defend them, unfortunately. It's okay. okay I I'll know I have them. an A cup, but at least I'm not lying about my height. <laughs> How tall are you, sir? 
Boom. <laughs> Roasted. Bronaissance. I've not seen you in a while, man. Appreciate the uh, TTS. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why the guys... Uh, what's... I think uh, small boobs are elegant and great... Uh, elegant? There, there's another word well, for it. Well, they don't Southern look as slutty. Classic. So, like, we were talking about the Instagram pictures. Elegant. Small boobs. If I wear a bikini, it doesn't look slutty. But if someone with bigger breasts wear a bikini, it makes them look slutty. It How makes them fair? look more tasteful. It, how do we how do we see? Say this? <laughs> for for a guy, when you see that, you think more like of it sexual. in a very sexual way. Mm. Yeah. That's like a guy who has a six pack with his shirt off compared to a guy who has a dad bod with his mm. shirt off. That's a good way to put it. That's definitely a good way to put it. I like to think this always gets me hate from everybody. Like you look at Greek statues, Roman statues of women. They don't have giant fucking can crushers. They got like maybe a B cup. Generally, they're quite Maybe voluptuous as well in a lot of those. Yeah. That is true. That is true. But yeah. they don't... Get, I've never seen, like, this Roman statue, Greek statue of some giant can crushers, you know? That was, like, the beauty standard back in the day, though. They had, like, a different idea of what was, like, it's true. pretty, you know? But maybe they were onto something. You know what I mean? Also, the male statues, the penises weren't very big. I just want to throw that out. <laughs> just throwing it out there, ladies. Just throwing it out there. So, um, uh, going around the table, the uh, strip club, you're fine with the sub, no. him going to this club? Why not? He's just there to eat. What is this, he just wants a chicken wing. Well, he can <laughs> order it to be delivered. But, he, but that's where he likes oh. to have his chicken wings. That's toxic uh, if you don't let Then him I show. wouldn't date him. <laughs> Wait, is the guy, do you think this is a good argument when, when women say, oh, I just go to the club to have fun? It's like the guy, I just go to the strip club f for the wings yeah. or something. Is that like the good counter? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's a good one. Um, wouldn't date him, though. What about you? Would you date a guy who... Uh, uh, I think OnlyFans I wouldn't like because that's very personal, right? They also chat a lot with the uh, models. Well, here's the difference, though. So, yeah. Here's the, I'll let you finish your point, but just want to introduce one quick uh, nuance. When... When a guy goes or is talking to a girl on OnlyFans, the chances of him fucking the girl is 0%. Mm -hmm. When a man goes to a strip club and he's spending money on the girls there, the chances of him fucking the girls is 0%. But if you go to a bar, the chances of you cheating... 0% because uh, I won't well, do no, it. No, it's, it's not... <laughs> I, no, but I, I okay. It's a bit higher. But I wouldn't like that he's uh, perhaps getting like, I don't know, the whole personal thing. I guess my boyfriend, if he wants, can watch porn or something, but not not the personal chatting, I guess. And the strip club, I would find a bit of waste of money. But if he would do it once a year, then and he really no, wants that. No, every once a week. Every, that's a waste of it, money. No, he's just going to get some food. But don't you have to pay entrance, or is it yeah, free to walk some, in? Sometimes it's free. It's a good wing. I've never been in a strip club. I don't know how it works. I've only been once, but sometimes, I mean, there wasn't food at the one that I went to. But <laughs> I don't know. They're terrible. But yeah, I, 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 I guess. I, and then just to be polite, like he'll give like 10 bucks to like the one girl or something. But he goes for the food at, to the strip club. If he club. wants to eat there one, one time, sure. But every week, then maybe... I'm it's his not favorite interested. place to it's his favorite place to eat. But he he does look at the girls a little bit, but he's there for the food. <laughs> That's reasonable, right? I, I have a boyfriend. I'm not imagining him doing that actually, and it's just very adorable. But you don't mind 